guys what's up welcome back to my channel today's video okay you guys want to stick around for this one because this one's a good one okay i got about one two three four about four different dupes for the infamous carolina herrera good girl perfume and you guys don't want to miss this so grab a snack because we're gonna talk a little bit about this fragrance and about everything else that I recently had found. And um, yeah, little disclaimer here. If you hear noise in the background, I have my two youngest in their room, right next to my room. So you might hear a lot of noise. So I just wanted to let you know, okay? But you know what, mommy got a film. So let's get, let's get right to it. It's Carolina Herrera, good girl. And this, you guys, is not my perfume. This is my mother-in-law's fragrance. Um, this is her favorite fragrance of all time. Her signature scent, must I say. She wears this all the time, and I love it on her. It smells so good and sweet and just sexy. I love this perfume. It's so good. With every fragrance video, I personally like to come to you with fragrance notes that I get from Fragrantica. And just so I can be a little bit more accurate, it's kind of hard to remember all these notes. So I like to give you the proof. And then you can decide whether you want to pick this up or whatnot. I have a lot of options here. I have about one, two, three, four about like four different options that you can choose from to be a dupe for carolina herrera good girl like it's a beautiful beautiful bottle and it is like a blue on camera it looks a little black but when you get the bottle it's like a dark blue it's gorgeous it's stunning you got this golden heel right here it's like a stiletto shoe I personally love the shape of this bottle. Out of all the Carolina Herrera perfumes, the stiletto gets me every time. I have the Carolina Herrera Good Girl Blush, which is the pink one. And I really do like that one. That one's really nice. But this one, you guys, I don't own this one. On me personally, it's okay. I feel like it smells a lot sweeter on her. I don't know why, but... A lot of fragrances smell sweeter on her skin for some reason. So on Fragrantica, the main accords for Carolina Herrera Good Girl are sweet, white floral, warm spicy vanilla, cacao, amber tuberose, woody, almond, powdery. Interesting. And we have the perfume pyramid here. So the top notes are almond, coffee, bergamot, lemon. I don't smell lemon in here, but that's interesting. Tuberose, jasmine, sabac, orange blossom, orris, Bulgarian rose. And then we have the base notes are tonka bean, cacao, vanilla, praline, sandalwood, musk, amber, cashmere wood, cinnamon patchouli and cedar so this perfume you guys has a whole bunch of notes this is like a sexy bomb literally it is absolutely amazing a beautiful date night fragrance in my opinion but you can wear it all day just like my mother-in-law does she wears it all day every day she loves this she'll wear it in the house if she can she loves it so much so i'm gonna spray this and i'll tell you guys honestly i have my little cards here with the names on them and we're gonna smell them together okay and then we're gonna talk about all the dupes that you can get for this so so good you guys this perfume is iconic it's classic it's just I don't even know what to say it's really good it's really really good and um this is the 2.7 fluid ounce so this will cost you around 148 dollars for this size bottle they also have a 5.1 fluid ounce 
which is like the really big one and that costs about 180 dollars talk about expensive okay for this fragrance i'm gonna talk to you as basic as i can be because some people still get confused even though you can read out the notes because they don't know what the notes are really like what is that you know what i mean so my opinion this is a sweet floral that is slightly warm and mature but it's not overly mature it's very grown and sexy so this is how i would describe good girl and it's like a little dark it's really nice and it's just it lasts a very long time i love this it's really good In my opinion this fragrance is definitely one that will make you stand out in the crowd and when you pass by somebody they can smell you literally i kid you not when my mother-in-law wears this and she goes to work i smell it in the air it's still lingering in my living room when she passes by it's really good and i highly recommend this if you want to get the original get it but we have some great dupes here and I'm gonna share it with you right now. Deep Garden by Zara. Now this one is actually in my collection and I wanted to try it because I didn't wanna buy the bullet to buy um, Good Girl. But um, yeah, this one, I have some opinions on this, okay? So the main accords are tuberose, sweet vanilla, white floral, fruity, amber, aquatic, aromatic, fresh, green okay and then for the top notes we just have pear middle notes tuberose and base notes tonka bean so now this perfume you guys will cost you about $14.90 for the small one and then for the bigger one it's about $27 for a 3.4 fluid ounce and we're gonna smell it right now okay so I can see what they were trying to do here. They're more like cousins, I feel like. I'm gonna smell the Caroline Herrera. Yeah. I feel like the Zara one smells like the initial spray of this, but when it dries down, it's like its own thing this um i don't find the warmth that carolina herrera has in this at all yeah like yeah this is a little bit tart for me i feel like it's okay but it's not the best a lot of people do like it but for me i wouldn't call this a dupe this is not a dupe for this i can see where they were going with it but i don't think they are dupes at all so if you have deep garden you can smell similar but it's just not it's not cutting it for me i i yeah it's not giving it's not giving this is not giving but they say it's a dupe so that's that Next dupe I want to talk about is a Bath and Body Works Dahlia. Everyone say this is a dupe for Carolina Herrera Good Girl. And I actually had this in my collection, but I gave it to my mother-in-law because I just wasn't feeling it. But she liked it. And this is how much she's been using. She likes this one. Um, she says that this is better for layering and it's not exact dupe. So... I honestly agree with that too. And for Fragrantica, the main accords are sweet, fruity, floral, latonic, fresh, spicy, aquatic, nutty. That's how they describe it. And the fragrance notes are written actually on the back of here. It says velvet dahlia petals, crisp pear, praline musk, whipped tonka bean. Now this one can run you about $18.95 now i'm not sure if you can still get this at bath and body works if not you can probably find it on macari or amazon um but this one you guys i wasn't too crazy about it um for me this one oh okay of 
course, you get a little bit of the alcohol with the body mist, but okay. Now, this one and Carolina. Okay, to me, this, the Dahlia smells more closer, yet not enough, but it's more closer than the Zara one. Yeah, honestly, Dahlia has a hint of Carolina, but it's just not the same. Carolina has that depth, it has that warmth. It's the sweetness is it's it's getting to me. Yeah, Dahlia, and it fades away. Dahlia is not even that strong. I can barely smell it now on the card. And I don't know. I don't like it. But they say it's a dupe. So that's that. Okay, so the next dupe that I saw on TikTok was Bint Haran. This is an Arabic fragrance, and everyone says that this is a dupe and this is what the bottle looks like it's a really pretty bottle has a beautiful bow so cute love it love it love it love the packaging it's nice now for the main accords they say that it's a vanilla white floral sweet almond tuberose musky powdery woody nutty fruity fragrance the fragrance notes for this one is Vanilla, sweet almond, tuberose, tonka bean, jasmine, musk, woody notes, and cacao pods. Now this being an Arabic fragrance, you know that we had to jump on the bandwagon with this one. I shared it with my mother-in-law because she wanted to get a, you know, a good dupe because the Caroline Herrera, hello, this is pretty pricey and she didn't want to use it all. So I told her, hey, I've been seeing around that everyone has been saying that Bint Haran is a dupe. This fragrance is, I wouldn't say an exact dupe at all, honestly. So I feel like y'all be lying sometimes and you just want people to be buying stuff off of your TikTok shop or something. Just saying, because honestly, this does not smell exactly like good girl. It has a hint of it. This is like maybe like really like far distant cousin type of thing. Like this is not sisters. And the fragrance does not last. It really is very light. It has somewhat of a hint, but it doesn't have that sweetness that good girl has. It doesn't have that deep warmness that it has. It doesn't and then when it dries down it's like its own fragrance it doesn't even smell like a girl and please don't get offended if you have this fragrance and you think that it smells like it okay maybe your nose is different but honestly truthfully me and her we honestly agree that this does not smell like good girl it's missing a lot um I can see where they tried to go with it but I, I wouldn't call it a dupe so but that's that Okay, you guys so i had to leave the best one for last i actually really did find a dupe that was almost identical you guys it is crazy how good this fragrance is and i had to had to had to leave it for last for you guys so i needed to redeem myself after recommending this one to my mother-in-law she was like girl this don't smell like it so <laughs> i had to redeem myself and i found a great dupe i saw this video on tiktok I forgot the young lady's name, but she was speaking in Spanish and she was raving how amazing and how great this this perfume was and that it had the exact same notes. So when I heard that, I said, okay, we're going to find it and we're going to buy it. And that's exactly what we did. Bad Femme. B-A-D Femme. You guys, I will leave a link down below for this perfume. And even the box is so luxurious. It's like a suede it feels so soft it's gorgeous and even the packaging looks similar to carolina herrera good girl the box which is really really clever and then the bottle looks like this it's also like this blue which you can't really see because on camera it looks black but it's like this royal blue glass and it's stunning 
looks like that you guys I couldn't find the fragrance notes on Fragrantica so I found it on this website where you can get it for a really really great price so my mother-in-law purchased this fragrance for about $21 on Amazon now you guys when I looked it up they actually bumped up the price to $54 because everyone is going crazy over this fragrance because it really does smell like Carolina Herrera good girl like this is the best dupe that I found so far and it's crazy so you either get it on Amazon or you know your girl could hook you up over here and I found the website where you can get it for $18 what $18 yes $18 so I'll put the link down below so you can purchase it so the fragrance notes for this one they have here is jasmine sabac tonka bean cacao top notes along with floral oriental blends a base of amber leather and musk and honestly you guys this is the, the closest dupe that I can find it's really really good the girl was not lying. She was not lying. I kid you not. This smells so much like good girl. And when my mother-in-law put it on, I couldn't tell the difference, honestly. Good girl had like maybe a tad more sweetness than this one. Like, um, I don't know, like 2%. I don't know. This is like maybe... 98% accurate, literally. It's that good. It's that good. And look what they did with the packaging. Like, come on. Come on. Look how similar they look. Of course, this is not a heel, but you you see what they were going for and the bottles are like almost the same shade of blue. You can't see the blue again in camera. It looks black, but it's blue, I promise you. And it's just stunning and it's great. And I think you guys should really, really consider getting this. Again, I will leave all the links down below. This is a great, great dupe for that perfume. Literally, I'm even considering buying this because it's that good. And just to have it in my collection, even though I, I like Good Girl, but I can't see myself wearing it all the time. It's a little strong for me. But I think I'm going to get one for my own collection as well. So I know she's happy with it and I'm glad. So you guys, this is the greatest dupe. Go get it. And that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. And let me know down below if you're going to purchase any of these fragrances that I mentioned or if you already have them. Let me know so we can chat in the comments section and we can figure this out. Or if you found another dupe, I would like to know. Let me know, okay? So I hope you guys have a wonderful day, night, wherever you guys are. And I will see you guys in another one. Bye.